So I just set up a brand new MacBook Air. I created an account and I just started doing work like I normally do. And I noticed on the side of my screen, I had all of the recently opened programs to the left side of the screen. Now, this can be kind of helpful because it's just like an easy way to access the programs that you've recently used. You can see kind of like this. It, it's designed to remove clutter. But what I couldn't figure out is how to get rid of this. It's actually very easy, but when I did Google searches and I, I checked some of the normal help sites, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So my goal is I'm hoping that this will just save you a few minutes of searching around on the internet. So what this is called is Stage Manager. And the idea, like I said, is it's just going to give you easy access to those programs that you've recently opened. Now, this could be something that would be helpful, but for me, it's not normally how I work on my other MacBook Pro. So what I wanna do is just turn this off. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. So the first way that I wanna show you is right up here at the top of your screen, we need to go to our control center and you'll notice that stage manager is on. Now I think this is one of those setups where it's off by default, it asks you if you want it on and I must have clicked a button to turn that on. So I don't want that there, so I'm just going to click off of stage manager. Those windows now appear back on our screen, I can always access them by just selecting them from the dock at the bottom of my screen like this, but this way, at least I won't have to worry about opening up some of those windows on the side, okay? So that's one way to do it. Turn this back on because I wanna show you another way, and that's to do this through system settings at the bottom of your screen, right over here. So from your system settings, if you just do a search for desktop and dock, you're going to see an area, if I kind of scroll down, right over here that says Stage Manager. So from here, I can just turn this off. And that is just another way to turn off Stage Manager. So that's it. Like I said, if you were in the same situation as I was, I just hope this video will save you a little bit of time to try to solve this problem, to turn off what we now know is called Stage Manager. So thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment area below. And if this is content that you like, I would love it if you could subscribe and stay engaged with some future and stay engaged with some of the future videos that I upload to this channel. Thanks and have a great day.